Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another exciting video for you. Um, I'm heading back home to Kent today and on my way home I thought I'd have a little stop off and have an adventure so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. Today we're going to be stopping at it's Hayworth Heath and the Oos Valley Viaduct. I don't know if I'm saying any of that right. It's O-U-S-E uh, Viaduct. It looks so pretty from the Instagram photos. I kind of drove past it once around this time last year. Um, so I thought I'd go and check it out properly today and I'll bring you guys along with me. So let's get on into the video. <laughs> I'm in Reading um, so it's going to take me about an hour and a half to get there um, and then we'll have a little bit of a walk around I think it's probably going to be about 40 minute walk to the actual viaduct um, but there's also like a lake and some pretty bridges and things like that from what I can tell online so we'll go have an explore and see how it goes so yeah let me pack all my stuff up into the car and get going <laughs> So I've finally made it, uh, that was one hell of a journey, basically there was so much traffic and then I put it into a different app to try to find a quicker route but then that took me the wrong way um, and I ended up about half an hour out so then I had to keep driving um, and that set me back quite a bit of time significantly um, but from looking online it said the closest place to park to access the viaduct is Ardington um, so there's an Ardington Reservoir and if you park in that car park then it's a quick walk to the viaduct. So I thought I'd do that because I wanted to have a look at the viaduct and the reservoir so I feel like parking here is a good place to do it. But we haven't got much time, I've got about an hour until the sun sets, I don't know where this day's gone. Um, so I better get going! So I'm literally parked right by the reservoir at the moment. So I feel like the best thing to do is go and have a look at that first and um, see what that's like. And then we'll head to um, the viaduct afterwards. Oh my God, it is so muddy though. Look, oh, I basically still don't have my hiking shoes up at uni. So I'm in a pair of old Primark Converse at the moment. I bought the spare shoes and I did mean to like take these to ruin them but oh my god they are disgusting already and I don't know if you can see that person there is actually paddle boarding which has given me lots of ideas um, to come back down here and paddle board in the future. sort of all around Hayward Heath um, and the viaduct and other like key points that you can go view so I'm gonna go use that now um, and hopefully find my way from here uh, to the viaduct fingers crossed I don't get lost because I don't have much time I have found my way onto a footpath but I have absolutely no idea if it's the right footpath um, usually I um, go on walks with one of my friends Elle and she's a lot better at the map reading and the knowing where to go because I just get lost 
like right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm in a massive field and I think I found myself very off grid. Um, however, like down there, you're not going to be able to see, but there's a bridge. And in the map that I'm looking at and trying to follow, there's a bridge. So I'm going to walk down the hill and hopefully um, I'm finding my way onto the right footpath. If not, it looks like a creep bridge, so we'll go check it out anyway. Remind me next time not to do stuff like this on my own, because I will get lost and die. <laughs> I said I was going to cross that creep bridge down there, but now I see the viaduct and it's... can you see it? No. But it's like over there in the background. So now I'm very torn on which way to go, but the positive is I can now see it. So fingers crossed I can't get too lost because I've just got to head in that general direction. I'm not sure. I think we'll cross the bridge and then we'll try follow to the viaduct that way. I'm hoping I get there before sunset because I really don't want to have to do this walk back in the dark but I feel like that's going to happen at this rate. I am an absolute cluster. Okay, so I can see the viaduct. I'm getting closer. Going across the bridge was the right decision. My feet are soaked through because of how wet they are, but I can see it. It's close. Fingers crossed I get there um, before the sun goes down um, because it'd be great to get some nice shots while I'm down there. But this is positive. It's going better than it was. And it's a nice walk. Um, it would be better if you weren't racing against the clock for the daylight. Um, but considering it's only three o'clock in the afternoon, I didn't quite expect to be racing the clock as much as I am. But I suppose that's the winter months for you. But yeah, it'll be exciting to see what it's like when we get there. I keep hearing trains and stuff, which is another reason that I know that I'm not off route. And I am quite close. Okay, so I have made it. I'm slightly worried that I've accidentally in someone's driveway rather than on the footpath but we're about to head out you can see it behind me oh that is the viaduct there exciting stuff the only thing that I am annoyed about is I drove parts of this road I'm going to walk across now and it does have like parking and stuff like that on it or like a little bit but I thought you had to go and park in the reservoir car park because that was like the closest spot. Um, but actually it would have been quicker if I'd just driven here, parked here and had a quick walk down. But we know for next time where the first place to park is and where not to park. So yeah, let's walk across now. viaduct which I think is so so cool look I don't know if you can see that wasn't a very flattering angle but yeah oh my god that is incredible wow but it looks exactly like it did on Instagram and it's absolutely mental <laughs>
I've just been walking around exploring them and oh my god it's muddy. Look at my hands, all my leggings are covered. Hang on, let me turn around and show you my shoes. Look how covered I am. So yeah, I wouldn't come here if you don't like the mud, but if you like looking at some marvellous architecture, like seriously, look at that. That is so incredible. Then I would 1000% recommend you checking it out it is absolutely mental i cannot believe i've lived so close to this for so long and haven't checked it out Okay, so I am sufficiently muddy, sufficiently wet, um, sufficiently cold, um, and it's about to get dark. So as much as this is a stunning view, unfortunately it is time for me to head off back to the car. It's really aggravating I've actually got the walk because it could have been just like a nice little trip in the car, but no, we've got a little walk. To be fair, when there's more time, it would be lovely to do the walk back. I'm just worried it's gonna get dark. So I'm gonna cut the camera here and walk back to the car as quickly as possible, especially cause I'm like seeing loads of horses and hunting and dogs as well, which a bit terrifying and not up my street. So yeah, let's get going back to the car. The one good thing, well, actually there's two good things I've decided about my little escapade is I've been able to work out the actual footpath home um, from walking sort of from the viaduct to the car park it's like taking me on the actual route so hopefully there'll be no getting lost in fields this time um, and the other good thing is I actually got some nice sunset photos that I wasn't expecting to get because the sun started to set um, and that looks really really pretty in the images so it all worked out for the best and it's saying i've got about an 18 minute walk back to the car so hopefully it shouldn't take too long and i'll still have a little bit of light and won't be running through forests um in the pitch black which i was slightly worried about i'm also hoping that i can head into hayworth heath or stop somewhere on the way home uh, to sort out all these muddy hands because I don't particularly feel like doing an hour and a half drive with the amount of mud that I'm covered in right now but we shall see we shall see what happens So a good trick if you're bad at directions like me would be actually to put it in um, Google Maps or not Google Maps, Apple Maps because it's picked up the path, uh, the actual path that you're meant to take and it's got like proper lanes and gates and stuff like that and definitely the way that you should have gone. So I would recommend doing that if you're going to do this and you're bad at directions like me and you won't get lost like I did and end up running through fields and down hills. Are 
Okay, so I've made it back to the car park. Um, I wasn't actually far off route for most of it. There was only a couple of points that went slightly wrong. So I think if you did want to do it without Google Maps, you probably could just about, but I don't want to risk it on the way home because I don't want to get lost. Because as you can see, it's quite dark out now um, and I wouldn't want to be walking around on my own in the middle of nowhere. Uh, when it was getting any darker than this. So, that was really cool. Um, I can't believe it's taken me so long to go see it. It was really, really awesome. Loved it. It didn't take me too long as well, which I liked. If you did want um, to do a longer walk, if you look for the map online that um, shows you the walk to the viaduct, it has like a Haywood Heath Amble or something like that. Um, which is like a eight mile walk um, all around Hayward Heath and it, it takes you to Wakehurst Manor as well and places like that if you did want to do the longer walk and I think hopefully in the warmer months I'll take some of my friends down um, to do the longer walk um, because I think it'd be really nice and it'd be nice to take a buddy down to get some like really 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 cool shots there because I think that is any photographer's dream that spot so if you want some cool shots want a nice walk with your friends amazing and if you only want like a half an hour little stroll down I would park at the Anglesey Reservoir car park like I did and take the 20 minute lovely walk down even go for a paddle board on the reservoir if you fancy as well probably not this time of night but yeah so I hope you liked the video um i will try put in the description box um some of the coordinates and sort of postcodes and things like that to help you if you do want to do this hike um but i should probably cut this clip here because you probably can't actually see me that well so um if you liked the video i'd love it if you could like uh comment and subscribe let me know if you come here if you want to check out any of the photos uh, from this place they'll all be posted over on my instagram so head over there there's i think my instagram linked in the description box it's also linked on my page so go check it out um and yeah i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next video bye